Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to talk about HXTSREXE, a strange process you may have encountered in your task manager. Originally it is a legit Windows process, but there are situations when it was hijacked by malicious programs. Occasionally it can consume a lot of system resources, particularly CPU power and disk. In this video I will explain why this process is needed, whether you can disable it or not, how to troubleshoot it and how to understand whether HXTSR is a malicious process. So, as I said, HXTSR is a part of Windows, specifically its network communications component. This process is responsible for proper network synchronizations in several areas of the system at the same time. In particular, it orchestrates the communication of a lot of Microsoft Office applications, Outlook, Mail, Calendar, things like that, with Microsoft servers. This already gives us a clue about whether we can disable or delete it or not. As it is not a critical systems process, disabling or even deleting it completely will not cause other system problems, but this would definitely render all the mentioned services non-functional. Stopping it in the task manager or deleting one from the directory will do the job. Now let's discuss the situations when HXTSR consumes a lot of CPU power and overloads the disk. It is particularly hard to name a specific reason for why both of this happen, but I reckon it has something to do with Windows updates, as the majority of complaints say that the issue appeared after the patch installation. Probably a change made to the system conflicts with the applications and HXTSR begins malfunctioning, and for solving this, the best way is to reinstall the entire communication apps package. To do this, press the Windows X key combination to call for a PowerShell window and run the command you see on the screen. I will duplicate it to the description. Once the first command is done, run another one to recover the deleted apps. Theoretically, if you do not use any of Windows services involved in the process, you can stop with just removing them ignoring the recovery step. But what if this does not help and HXTSR keeps taking a lot of system resources? Well, there is a chance of malicious program to use the name of this benign process as a disguise. In particular, this is often done by malicious coin miners. You can additionally prove whether it is a malicious process or not by opening the file location. In Task Manager, find the HXTSR process, click it with the right mouse button and choose Open File Location. This will throw you to the place where the file is stored. Normal location for this file is Windows Apps folder in Program Files directory. You can see the exact designation on the screen. Any other location unfortunately means malware activity. To check the system for malicious activity and remove the threats, I recommend using Green Soft and Time Malware. With this program, you will be able to remove any malicious programs present in your system. Let's launch a standard scan and give it a time to finish. When the scan is over, click the now to remove all the detected elements. This will delete the malware and remove all the hooks it creates in the system to gain persistence. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.